hi everyone welcome back to free and free history channel and today we are going to talk about mary patrice davison kenner who is an inventor of five different products but her most infamous one is the development of what we call the adjustable sanitary belt Okay, Mrs. Kenner was born in Charlotte, North Carolina in 1912. She was, she came from a family of inventors, including her grandfather who invented the stretcher with wheels as we still use it today. In 1924, she and her family moved to Washington, D.C., where as a child, she would roam the halls of the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office because she wanted to know how it worked because she was always creating something and her goal was to invent things to make the home better, right? So she would um, study and learn and try to figure out how much it would cost, the different things she would have to do in order to be able to file a patent. In 1931, she graduated from high school and attended Howard University. Unfortunately, she had to drop out in her sophomore year due to financial hardships. She in the 40s, she got a job with the federal government and she worked that job all through the 40s. And then in 1950, she opened up her own flower shop and she did that until 1970. Mrs. Kenner invented this, this sanitary belt, this adjustable sanitary belt in 1920s but she could not afford the patent until 1954 when she filed the patent and it was improved in 1957. Here is the design that was patent. A company reached out to her about it and they were so excited for this design, right? And they came to DC to meet her and guess what? When they found out that she was black, they went back to New York and they told her they were no longer interested. The company was called Sun Nap Pack. Her design was a comfortable belt that held the sanitary pad in place. Prior to that, women were using what we call the Hoosier sanitary belt and it was made out of metal. I cannot imagine how uncomfortable that was. That was that was between the late 1800s and the um, 1920s. And they would also use like re redisposable pads. They found different creative ways. Um, tampons were actually created um, around the 1920s. So they had different means of controlling their um, menstrual cycle, but some things were just very uncomfortable so that's why her design was so desirable because it was comfortable more comfortable for women she and her sister also invented the toilet paper holder as we know it today and here are the her, their designs i thought that was pretty cool things that we don't even think about someone had to make them Mrs. Kenner was married to James Jabo Kenner, who was a boxer. They married in 1951, and they were married until his death in 1983. They fostered five sons, and they adopted one, and they lived in McLean, Virginia. Mrs. Kenner, she died in on December 13th, 2006 in Charlotte, North Carolina. And that is the story of Mary Patrice Davison Kenner.